Hi everyone, this is Blake from Lineup Lab, and in today's video I'm going to be covering limits and variance. Now if you want to read more about variance, check out our tutorials page and click on how to use limits and variance. And I go through great details on uh, why we developed them, the, these features, what they do, and uh, you can read about it there. Uh, now, before we get started, um, if you don't know how to use the basic, uh, the site sort of in its basic form, uh, check out our basic training video here. Uh, videos for all of this and all the links should be in the description below. So to get started, I'm going to choose NBA and FanDuel. And I'm going to load a default projection source. Now, I'm not going to mess with filtering or removing any players right now. I'm just going to go ahead and add all and I'm going to calculate. Now when looking at these results I can see that Al Horford and Al Jefferson are appearing in basically all of my all of my results probably down well I don't know how far but it looks like um, yeah it looks like they dominate all 75 of my results so this is a great example of how I could limit this player. So click Calculate again, and then I'm going to find Al Horford, and I'm going to limit him to just two results. Now keep in mind, you have to be logged in if you want to uh, put a number here in the limits field. So let me calculate again, and I should see Al Horford only appears in two results. And after that, it uh, looks like Jefferson um, appears in most of my results. So if I wanted to, I could go back and I could limit him as well. So I can put a, a number in for him. Say I want him in just one result. And so now I have Al Horford in two results. Al Jefferson appears in just one result. And then you can see the lineups start to diversify a little bit more. It looks like I could uh, limit some other players if I really wanted to. Uh, but this just gives you real granular control on how many times a player uh, will appear in your results. Now you can put whatever number you want here in the limits um, and then when you erase that number you're going to see the infinity symbol reappear and that just means that now there's no constraints on that player. The algorithm will use him as much as needed. Okay so that's limits. Uh, in variance um, is also intended to help you diversify your lineups. So imagine this as a range from 0 to 100%. 0 meaning no variance, and 100% meaning every result is completely different. So I'm going to start with 0 just to uh, sort of illustrate what this does. So if I look at my top two results, I can see that every single player is exactly the same down to looks like one shooting guard is different. Um, now you will often see this in optimized lineups. A lot of times there really is just one really good set of players and um, a lot of the resulting lineups are going to uh, only have one player different. It's not always the case. Some nights you'll see uh, very diverse results. Um, a lot of times it just depends on how the projection source is really um, um, what they have projected for these players and, and their values. So now let me go back and increase my variance to say we'll do 40%. Now at least three or four of my players should be different in my results. So I can see um, now it, it's actually starting to use different players. So it's meeting my uh, variance uh, need and I can see it's also keeping uh, my results as optimized as possible. So in its basic form, that's what limits and variance does. Um, the professionals, just as a side note, you know, I see those guys, they have this down to a science. Um, when, when you're in a tournament and you see a player submitting hundreds or, or even thousands of lineups, um, it's pretty typical that they're not trying to submit a lot of similar lineups, but they are uh, diversifying uh, their lineups, uh, creating uh, the right amount of exposure um, is the best way to describe it. So that way they have a lot of lineups out there that are very different from each other and it gives them the best chance possible uh, to hit one of those top spots. So that's limits and variance. Um, that's it for this video. If uh, Lineup Lab has helped you or 
you hit any big tournaments uh, because of uh, using our variance feature, um, all I ask is that you uh, follow us or give us some uh, love on Twitter, and uh, I appreciate it. So good luck and take care.